Cause you call me by my name Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pila M and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning back in. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you are subscribed, please turn on the notification bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. Um, today's video... <laughs> So in today's video, I'll be talking about beginning again, living a hopeful life. I know that we are entering or in the second quarter of the year. And most of us made New Year's resolutions. We made goals. We wrote down things that we want to do in 2024. And things some of us wrote down things that we want God to do for us in 2024. Um, the second quarter of the year is a bit weird because some goals you have to have already implemented like you've already like started working towards achieving those goals but most of the goals if you wanted to go back to the gym there's no excuse so yeah um but that's not the point of this video um beginning again beginning beginning again uh when i got this word from god i mean like beginning again i i've been thinking about it a lot i think i've been thinking about you know this phrase for now for two weeks now beginning again beginning again what is beginning again and you know in the context of what this channel is mainly about which is god creating a relationship with god salvation faith all those things and you know guys i know what it's like to be to feel so separated from god to feel like god cannot hear your prayers god is just working everything against you like god is against you i know what it's like to be in that position and you know when you're in that space it's kind of hard to include God in a new beginning. Let's say you want to begin again, you want a fresh start, but when you're in a very, very dark place and you feel like God is not hearing your prayers, it's very hard to include him in your new beginning, you know? Maybe you're struggling with depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, and all those things, and you really, really want to get out of that dark place. But when you feel like God hasn't been hearing you for the past five years, you get to a point where you put him you put him on the side and pursue deliverance from these spirits that have been tormenting you for the past years you put god on the side and you decide to pursue deliverance from these things that have been tormenting you outside of god and hmm, in this day and age that looks like you know going through or trying to forge your way out of a very 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 dark place and doing it outside of God is seeking counsel from any and everyone, reading and watching any and everything on, on YouTube. Guys, we have, we are privileged and not so privileged to have access to so much information on the internet. Sometimes I just feel like it's information overload. That's why it's important to watch what you watch. Hmm? you get what i'm saying it's very very important to you know i was talking to my friend yesterday that it's very very important to test the spirit of behind the message that you are watching if you're watching a podcast a sermon whatever it's important to listen to what the holy spirit is telling you anyways let's go back to beginning again and you know i was talking about being in a, in a very very dark place and trying to process really really painful and dark emotions outside of christ that's a very 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 dangerous thing to do it's very very dangerous to try to forge a way forward outside of christ and when you are depressed and feeling anxious and suicidal it's very very easy to feel like your life is stagnant because the thing the nature of depression is that it magnifies a problem 
it magnifies the tiniest 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 problem and makes you believe that it's way 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 beyond you and you can never over overcome that hurdle that's the nature of depression it makes you think people don't like you and people really don't like not care not don't care in that sense but people aren't really really minding their own business that's the nature of depression it blows things out of proportion and i think one day i'll invite a health or mental health professional onto the channel and we'll talk about navig in fact i'm tempted to say i wanted to say we'll talk about navigating mental health as a christian but i'm also tempted to say jesus is the answer because for me jesus really was the answer and your god delivered me from crazy crazy things like <laughs> I think one day I'll sit down and when the time is right, I'll sit down and go into detail about my relationship with God and my salvation journey. I only say I got saved twice, but to be honest, I think it was one encounter because it, because it takes only one encounter with God to change your life forever. So in terms of beginning again, I know that you're struggling with depression. I know that you're struggling with suicide, suicidal thoughts. I know that you're struggling with anxiety. But there's a scripture in the book of John where Jesus, is, where Jesus tells his disciples that in this world, you will face trials and, tribu trials and tribulations, but take heart because I've overcome them all. I'm not saying, but then there are certain things that you just have to defeat. And when I spread up, you cannot live the rest of your life depressed. You have to defeat that that situation, that illness. You have to defeat that illness because it's an illness. You have to de defeat depression. You have to defeat anxiety. You have to de defeat. You have to defeat those suicidal thoughts because you can't live your life like this. Like you just cannot live a life of bondage in bondage. You cannot live a life in bondage, in bondage. You know you cannot live. At some point, I felt so trapped. I felt so so trapped because i was so far gone from god i could literally feel that the sin was separating me from him like the sin was in between me and god i could feel it that's how bad it was and it got to a point where i just did not care i was at a point where god if i die it's fine if i don't die fine but i'm picking a side and i'm picking parting over you I'm picking my sinful life over you because I've prayed over and over and over again and you just cannot hear me. But I have a scripture for you. If you are in the same position, I have a scripture for you. It's in the book of Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1. Listen, the Lord's arm is not too weak to save you, nor is his ear too deaf to hear you call. And the you know how the devil works. The devil makes you believe that God can't hear your prayers. You know, deep down in my heart, I really, really wanted God to save me. But being saved looked like an extreme sport and living the sinful life. Like, you know, when you're trapped and you feel these things, literally, you can feel the grip of sin on you. That's how it felt. So I want you, God, but... I, it's so hard. It's so hard. And when my encounter with God, when I eventually had my encounter with God, all these things that I thought mattered did not matter. You know, sometimes I think there's this new trend of tell telling people to gradually let go of sin. Tell me if you... <laughs> Fred, if you party seven days a week let's cut it down to maybe five days a week or two days a week it's the thought that counts but the nature of the gospel is to cause radical change that's the nature of the gospel of jesus christ so we can't be telling people go see the life-giving power of the blood of jesus works in stages i had a conversation with my friend and we were just thinking about how we used to tell people that we cannot be telling people that the life-giving power of the blood of Jesus causes radical change. 
and i will repeat the same statement that i repeated in the in my last sit down video that an encounter with god causes radical change it's not a step by step thing obviously the devil will come back to tempt you and the bible says guys that god does not tempt us god does not tempt us it's the devil he will come to tempt you are you sure Guti, you don't drink anymore babe like are you sure what you are done with this relationship this man comes back he he comes to tempt us but take heart because god jesus has a, has overcome all the trials and tribulations that we are to face so i know that and i also i know a lot of things <laughs> but yeah and i feel like uh this era that we live in a lot of us are prioritizing wellness you know health and all those things you know being in good shape you know healing childhood traumas but may we not do that outside of christ as you embark on that journey as you begin again don't do it outside of christ do not do it outside of christ because <laughs> wow 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 uh for me you know what I think I was in therapy for a year. What a year of therapy could not heal. God gave me the ultimate healing. There are certain things that I did not talk about that have happened to me that I did not that I did not talk about for years. Years, guys. Years. Yes, and uh, sorry guys, we got cut off and I think I'm just going to start wrapping up the video right now. As I said, don't do it outside of Christ. Don't seek healing outside of Christ. Don't do it. Why? You may ask me why. Because Christ came that we may have life and have it abundantly. Abundant life is in Christ. A full life is in Christ. Bible in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, I think verse 21, says that the church is made full and complete in Christ. It lacks nothing in Christ. You know, God, let me read it. I want to paraphrase it. right now. Yes, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 23. And the church... 23 and the church is his body it is made okay let's start from verse 22 god has put all things under the authority of christ and has made him head over over all things for the benefits of the church and the church is the body it is made full and complete by christ who fills all things every way with himself so yeah as the Bible says, Christ fills all things with himself. So as you embark on a journey of healing and as you embark on a journey of life outside of being depressed, outside of being anxious all the time, outside of being suicidal, may you lean into your relationship with God. May you lean into your relationship with the Holy Spirit. And how do you create a relationship with God? You accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And you actively start working on your relationship with God. You can't... Eh, guys, guys. Yeah. You accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You know, I feel it in my heart that this word is for someone i just i just know it i know that it's for someone and i really really hope that this video encourages you you know you i know that you have one more chance left for god I, that tiny tiny bit of hope that you have that maybe 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 god is real just give him one chance one more chance i know that this video is for someone and i really really hope that it encourages you to pursue your relationship with god because truly truly i am a living testimony that it is worth it 
life with Christ and the sacrifices and everything that comes with it, it is worth it. Anyways, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I hope this video blessed you. And if it did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Like the video. Liking the video helps the vid helps me to reach more people. It increases the audio this channel's audience. So please, please like the video, share if you feel spread led to share the video. Do share with your community and let's let let the I was it saved by grace community grow but yeah i hope I, i'm just really really praying about it that um by god's grace we bring back saved by grace and but yeah please stand with me in prayer that we may bring back saved by grace soon soon and thank you for watching my youtube channel don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and if you haven't watched the saved by grace series please scroll down i have a few interviews uh interviewing people about how they got saved and how they are working out their salvation with fear and trembling and that's it from me be blessed as the week continues we love you loads bye